Afternoon YouTube, this is the LA Prepper and today we're going to talk about how to beat the heat. 95 degrees today. What? What is going on with this heat? It's hot outside. I just went for a walk and I'm... Whew, my body temperature is probably up a couple degrees. I'm going to jump in the shower a little bit here. But I wanted to uh, make this video mostly because it's going to bug me until I make this video and I want to move on with other stuff for today. Sorry, my hair is a little funky. Still gotta take a shower. My hair is currently at the always looks like crap when I wake up from a nap stage. So, <clears throat> top 10 ways to beat the heat according to LA Prepper or top 10 considerations regarding the heat. Number one, stay hydrated. Where's my, did I just finish this? Oh, so thirsty. Um, don't wait until you feel thirsty to drink. I've heard the phrase, when you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So if you know it's going to be a hot day, start drinking water ahead of time. Drink as much water as you can. Drink more water than you think you need to drink. Um, I know personally, although I do drink a lot of water, I still sometimes find myself dehydrated. So, you know, it's kind of like muscle memory. You drink, you know, maybe normally you drink six cups of water a day. And on a day when it's really hot, it might feel hard to drink 12, but you have to force yourself to drink more water, drink more water, drink more water. Uh, cold water, especially, helps cool down your core. Number two, avoid diuretics, things that cause you to um, lose bodily fluids, uh, like caffeine and alcohol. So you're going to want to avoid that at all costs. Number three, uh, shade, air conditioning, and low activity. I kind of put those three together, but do your best to keep out of the sun. If you can, the sun's uh, going to increase your body temperature, make it harder to stay hydrated. Uh, stay indoors if you don't have AC. Uh, consider, you know, if you're at work, you probably have AC at work. Um, if you don't have work, uh, consider going to the mall, going to the movies, um, you know, going to any kind of restaurant, business, um, somewhere where you have AC. It might be kind of a bummer if your house is hot, so, uh, you know, just do what you can. You know, wander around Walmart for a couple hours in the hottest part of the day. Um, you know, buy a Slurpee, uh, something, right? Low activity. Try to keep your activity low. A hot day is not a great day to be digging a ditch or doing high intense, uh, high intensity activity. Of course, that's going to dehydrate you even further. It's going to raise your body temperature and it could be hard to bring your body temperature down. Um, I'm not talking about heat stroke or heat stress in this video that much, but they are very, very serious medical conditions. Every year, uh, people die from heat stroke. Um, and heat exhaustion and typically it's really unfortunate because once you kind of get to that level you can't just put someone in a cool place and give them a little bit of water the body if it starts getting too overheated it can't be undone in short order so you really want to avoid uh, having your body temperature raise up to that level number four fans fans are immensely important they help increase airflow not to be an engineer about it but uh, the amount of cooling uh, is proportional to the airflow. So get more airflow, um, you're going to have more cooling. Even if you don't have AC, and especially if you don't have AC, a fan blowing on you um, can help a lot. Number five, swamp coolers. Swamp coolers or evaporative coolers are a very economical way to cool your house. Uh, central AC can be expensive, hopefully cost isn't a concern for you as far as keeping the AC on, but if you are concerned about costs and central AC uh, and electricity prices are getting you down, consider getting a swamp cooler. They don't work in areas of very, very high humidity, but uh, for most of the southwest and a lot of the country that is not humid, like the southeast, um, and a lot of the east actually is pretty humid, a swamp cooler is going to work really well. Pets take care of your pets. Did you know dogs can't sweat? It's true. That's why they pant. Because I was going to give you an impression of a dog panting, but I think you get the idea. That's the only way they get cool. So not only give your dog a lot of water, maybe even some ice water, but uh, maybe give your dog a bath. Um, get a little pool set up. Play in the sprinklers with your dog for a little bit. Um, 
Your dog can't tell you if it's hot. It might lay down, it might act like it's low energy, but I personally don't know a great way to tell when a dog is overheated. So better safe than sorry. Um, keep your pets cool, keep your pets inside. Do not leave them in a car at all costs. Never, ever, 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 unless your car is running and locked with the AC on and you're only gonna be in the store for a short amount of time. That you know is somewhat reasonable, but otherwise, do not leave your car. Uh, do not leave your pets locked in the car. Don't leave them outside. If you have to leave and they're at home, consider leaving them inside with the AC on. If you have to leave them outside, make sure they have plenty of cool water. Make sure they have a little, uh, maybe a pool or something to cool off in, even a little kiddie pool. Uh, maybe some misters would help. Make sure their dog house is in the shade. Um, very, very important kids kids uh, you know you got to take care of your kids they don't always know uh, how to keep cool either make sure they're drinking plenty of you know the kids kids seem to run a little bit hot they don't tend to mind the hot weather as much but it doesn't mean that they're immune to the effects of heat so give them popsicles ice cream ice water keep them cool take them to the beach take them to the pool have them take an extra shower maybe even a couple showers in fact I'll mention right now um, Taking multiple showers during the day is a really great way to cool your body temperature down. Um, turn on all cold water, no hot water, and just, it might feel a little cold at first, but after a few moments, you're going to realize how hot you actually are, um, and it's going to start to feel really, really nice. If you don't want to take a full shower, just put your head under uh, the cold water for a few minutes, and that'll help, um, especially people with thick hair like I do. Um, I can feel my head being too hot on a regular basis because I have thick hair so I'll wet my hair down several times today um, to help stay cool. Vehicles. Um, try to keep your vehicles in the shade. Uh, be careful getting into a hot vehicle. You know even if you're perfectly hydrated if you get into a vehicle that's 100 degrees and commute 30 hours somewhere or drive for 30 hours it's gonna overheat the crap out of you. Um, some things that might help with that. Consider washing your car with a little bit of cold water before you get into it, consider starting your car and turning the AC on and letting it run for about 10 minutes. If you jump right in your car, even if with the AC on, if that car is at 100 degrees and it takes 10 minutes for the car to go from 100 to 80, you're gonna get overheated in that 10 minutes and it's gonna take you potentially you know, an hour or longer to cool your body off. And even if the air in the car is 80 degrees, the rest of the car might still be warmer. Seat bolts, the dash, the seat, steering wheel all of that's going to radiate heat and even if your AC is on the AC can't really compete with the fact that your whole car is a hundred degree or more oven in a um, yeah so number nine plastic um, number nine and ten are kind of related plastic and hot surfaces uh, plastic I just meant to cover uh, keep in mind that plastic can melt and things that are temperature sensitive um, can deteriorate in very very hot weather um, you might want to do a quick check if it's one of the first hot days of the month or the year in your area uh, go outside and check that you don't have things that are sensitive to temperature be careful around windows windows tend to reflect a lot of heat so if you have something in front of a window it's getting the Sun the energy from the Sun but it's also getting energy reflected from the window so um, Keep in mind, if you have plants near a window, if your pet house, uh, your dog house is near a window, if you have plastic items near a window, um, either on the inside or maybe on the outside, uh, windows can cause uh, the sun to reflect and can really mess up your stuff. And lastly, but not least, number 10, hot surfaces, concrete and asphalt. Uh, be careful with, uh, with your kids, with your pets. Uh, don't be walking your dog out on 100 degree asphalt. It can burn their paws. Um, and it's, it's, you know, it has happened and it's a very sad thing. Um, it can also overheat you. You go for a 30 minute walk and the asphalt's 100 degrees. Even if you feel like you're hydrated, walking around on the hot surface, like I just went for a five minute walk outside and I know my body temperature already went up a few degrees. So I can drink water. I'm in an AC apartment right now, an air conditioned apartment, but I know if I don't jump in the shower for the next few hours, my body temperature is going to struggle to kind of come back down. So there you have it. There are 10 considerations to help beat the heat. Uh, let me know what you think. And until next time, YouTube, stay cool, like, comment, subscribe, and keep prepping.